What is going on guys, it's Mike here, back in another video. So for today guys, we're on Blackhawk Operation Nightfall guys, and it just released today. And pretty much guys, this update was mainly focused on PvP. He did add a minor thing to the uh, open world layout, and I'll maybe cover that in the next video, but it was pretty minor, just just where you spawn. But pretty much guys, um, he's going to be adding now week weekend update, so there's going to be another PvP update next week. This is just a week one of the operation nightfall so with that being said guys be sure you guys drop a like comment down below what you guys like about this update and also guys i'll be releasing a tokyo uh, gameplay video probably on monday or tuesday depending on when this comes out i'm not sure but with that being said discord links in the description down below let's begin first things first the new loadout screen or whatever you want to call it display screen this is looking pretty cool guys right when you load in it it moves a little which you can see like swaying a little this is very nice and i like how um there's like three characters in the back and i like how it's like pretty dark because it is nightfall of course but this is like something i noticed right off the bat that i actually like appreciate a lot because before like i don't know if you guys remember the old 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 black Ock. there was no there's no operation nightfall thing or operation daybreak as a loading screen it was just like the loadout screen but here's a new one guys this is actually reminding me more of cb i don't know if you guys ever played that game like counter strike but this is what it reminds me of i'm not saying it copied but i like this a lot but it just gives me that little just the character makes me think of it i don't know why but that's just how it is so as you guys see when you press play over here you have a new display of open world rank 2v2 and 5 on 5 and um Pretty much ranked is actually not open right now. Uh, administrator or not administrator? Uh, Jinnar said he's gonna come out with a ranked update to next week, I believe. So that's gonna be back in business. I'll also be creating a team, guys. Um, I'm so close to diamond, but I didn't get it before the update. But that's okay. Anyways, that's that. So that's a new play screen. The stores are over here, and also, guys, with the loadout, it's gonna be a lot different. And you have four loadouts you could uh, customize. So that's the cap for uh, how much you could do, so only four. And when you edit your uh, guns or whatever, it's a lot different. I got confused on what you should do here, but pretty much. Once you choose the gun, guys, when you go back to the option, so uh, I was just looking, and MP5 is actually a new gun that they added, I believe, and it's crazy OP. Like, this thing shoots like a nail gun, and it's just super, the fire rate is crazy good. But I think he's going to nerf it soon, so use the MP5 while you can. So, like I was saying about the attachments, if you don't know how to change your attachments, there's actually little gray dots on your M4 or whatever gun you have. And I would suggest moving the gun on an angle so you can see the dots much better. And you have to pretty much press on each single dot and they all represent a certain spot for the gun. So the bottom dot would be like where the mag is, would be for mag uh, magazine types or whatever. Like 30, 20 or drum. So like I said, each dot has its own particular attachment that goes with it. So. You just have to press on that and uh, play around with it. Get your own attachments. And the thing that I love the most about the loadout screen, or not the loadout screen, that he added to loadouts, is you could actually make your own loadout now. So without like going up open world to PvP, you don't have to keep switching it all the time. That would annoy me so much because my, my loadouts are different for uh, open world and PvP, so that helps me a lot. So like I said, only four. So you could have like one for your clan, one for your open world, one for... Uh, PvP and then one for like testing or something I don't even know but you, you could give it a name but keep in mind that name that you give it to at the start you can't change it later on so that's that and uh, there's not much attachments you can put on your secondary I just go without attachment so after you're done customizing your secondary and your primary now it's the same kind of thing with uh, helmets and like vest but the thing that I like about the vest I'll get to it later on but it's actually customizable and it's pretty cool but with the helmet too guys you're gonna have to press on the gray dots again and this i don't know some uh, i feel like people are gonna have mixed feelings about how he did it with the gray dots at first i thought it was pretty stupid to do it like that because it's pretty hard to like it it takes a lot of time for you to press on every single dot and you're probably gonna forget something in your attachments but i don't know i'm used to it now so it's it's not bad but moving on with the helmets guys you could have your backpacks like ordin like before nothing changed with your backpacks but another thing like i said is he added I believe he changed the radio to like a thousand two hundred dollars. This thing used to cost like twenty k. I don't know if you guys remember that, but that was crazy. But yeah, you have the radio, and uh, these are all cosmetics, guys. If you guys are wondering if the radio actually does anything, no. Uh, same with the magazines and the vest. They don't actually have like a thing. They don't have uh, an advantage or a disadvantage. It's just cosmetics. And what I mean by cosmetics, for those who don't understand, it's just for looks. So pretty much, guys, I'm just out here buying all the vests and. 
what I mean by customizing your cosmetics is if you, uh, or the vest I should say, there's dots in the back and there's actually a cool nameplate, a medic, and I believe that he's going to be adding a lot more, so stay tuned for that guys. And you have a different spot you could place, um, different vests come with what you could add on your vest, so like, like let's just say if I chose another vest, maybe in the middle it'll be like a grenade patch or pouch or whatever. I'm not sure exactly all the options, but... I know they're a bit different on what you could put on a certain slot, but here you guys blood types like you have O, B, A, A, B, all that stuff. You guys could have it like as in your clan, like they all represent the same blood type. And the magazines, if you guys are wondering, 7.62 is I believe this is the most common gun, so I'm gonna say for the scar, not 5 5.56 I believe it's for the G36 and the M4A1 if you're wondering. So that's why you could deck out your middle slots with the correct magazine type but it doesn't matter I think it's just for looks where lit is for looks but um, if you just want to have the same magazine for your gun and then that's that guys but pretty much I also know he added two uniforms and I'm not a big fan I seen I seen pictures of it it was like an Australian one it's bright yellow and I don't, I'm not sure if anyone would actually want to use that one unless you're in open world if you're in PvP you want to stay like dark that's just a tip don't try going bright colors because it's just not it and this is just a just a loadout that I use and if you guys want me to do some loadout videos I could greatly do that with these new ones here and uh, give it names or I could even use some of the loadouts that you guys use on like shadow uh, like a series I, I don't know I could come up with a whole bunch of ideas for Blackhawk and um, you're probably gonna see them soon since he's pushing on updates so now I could actually get my videos going up again so he added not every flag for the middle he is gonna add like the Canadian flag, Mexican flag, Russian flag, like all those flags, guys. But with that being said, guys, that's pretty much it for the loadouts. I'll be running a little two on two here. He did add a new map, which I'm gonna cover in the next video, and um, I'm excited for this ranked update this weekend that's gonna come up, or next Saturday, I should say. But I'm gonna let this run a uh, two on two run. I just quick note, my teammate did leave, so I took them on two on one, but that doesn't matter anyway. But with that being said, guys. Hope be sure to comment down below your thoughts on this update guys and I did do a video about what what would you like to see updated now I want you guys to comment down below what kind of PvP things are you guys looking for and are you in favor of first person or are you in favor of third person because I he also did change PvP at making it all first person so this first forces people to go into the ranked if you guys don't know but anyway guys that's gonna wrap it up like I said gonna run it in the background and hopefully you guys enjoy